Hello friends, my name is Amber and I am going to be doing a look on the Jaclyn Hill palette. I just got this in the mail so I'm super excited to do so many looks with this. But first we are going to, or I am going to moisturize my face. I'm going to be using the Clinique Extra Surge Moisturizer and it's just a gel moisturizer. I tend to get dry patches like on my cheeks. So I like this moisturizer, you know, so my foundation doesn't cling on. We don't want that. And I am also going to be priming my face with this Master Primer. It smells really good and it's the Blur and Illuminate. It's new at the drugstore and I am already in love with this primer. I've been using it nonstop. Trust me, girl, you need this primer in your life. And I'm also going to be using the Smooth and Blur I think it's the smooth and blur. It's the smoothing one. It's like the blue one. I'm going to use that on the T-zone so my pores, you can't see my pores because I don't want you to see my pores. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to pat that in and just smooth it onto my skin. Then I am going to be priming my eyelids with the Alley Girl Primer. And I am going to set that with translucent powder. I'm taking this Wet n Wild fluffy brush and the first color we are going to dip into is Creamsicle and I am going to place this above the crease and blend it down to my lid and I'm just going to keep building this color up and keep blending it out because I want it kind of bl like blown out a little bit so I am just going to keep blending and keep building the color. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild fluffy, it's like a flat fluffy brush, and I'm going to take that baby pukey color, and I am going to place this color on my crease, and I am going to blend it side to side, and I'm also going to take it down to my lid. I kind of want this more so all over my lid in a way, but not all the way. I kind of just want to blend it into my crease and halfway down my lid. But I'm not having any trouble with these eyeshadows. This palette is really amazing. I think the only thing is, you know, what look you'll be creating because you have so many options. But other than that, everything's creamy and buttery and you can build up the color as well. So yeah, I'm just going to keep blending this out and keep deepening up that crease. coffee break my arm was about to fall off so i needed some coffee girl but from blending so much that that was gonna fall off <laughs> but i am taking my equal tools triangle tapered brush and i'm mixing mocha in that deep brown color and i forgot how pigmented like these shadows were and they kind of just went in and i was like Ooh, as you can see <laughs> but I mean it looks like I like at first I was like really upset because it did not look cute like I had to blend that out like it took me took me a little bit to blend that out and it looked like I got punched in the face like it looked like I got a purple eye and I was like all sad that I had to like redo my look but it worked out, it worked out. I just had to keep blending it and, you know, have, have patience. That's all you need. Because at the end, it'll always, you know, it's makeup. It's not about getting angry or having a perfect look. You know, I just had to be patient and blend it out. So, yeah. But, yeah, so I'm just going to keep blending this out. And I am not going to add any more of that brown because it was pigmented enough. And I'm just going to... Add a little bit of that pukey color on top just to blend it out more. And this is um, what it looked like after 50 years of blending. Yeah, 
I did that. That's right, girl. We succeeded. And I'm using this Milani Dual Ended Brush. I'm going to take this color Hunts, I believe it. Or Jax. I think it's Jax. And it's just like a super deep red. And I am going to place that and pack that all over my lid. And I'm going to take it up. Um, not all the way up to the crease, but almost up to the crease. And I'm just going to pack it on and blend it out. Oh, my mirror. I've had this mirror for like 10 years already. I got it as a gift. And I was unpacking my boxes, like my clothes. Because we moved a while ago. But I was just like, you know, I had boxes back there. And I found my beautiful mirror. So now I can do looks with it. Yay. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to keep packing it on and keep blending it out. So I wanted this look to be a little bit more like a red bronzy type of look. So I added a little bit of, I think it's mix on top of my lid. Just like a very teensy tiny amount. Just to give me a little bit of a sheen. And then I went ahead and I blended it out. Here, all I'm doing is making sure I don't have any fallout, and since my face is cleared up and I don't have any breakouts, I like to keep it that way. So the way, like the way I keep my skin from breaking out a lot, is by lay layering up my moisturizers and my primers. So I like to have like a good base, like a good protecting layer from my like from my skin. That way my foundation doesn't sink into my pores. And I'm using the Alley Girl foundation. And this isn't like a heavy foundation. But it does give you a good amount of coverage. So that's the good thing. And I'm just going to lightly dot this all over my face. And I'm just using a thin layer. That way like my natural skin. You could see it. You know it's clear. It's nice and glowy. And yeah, and this doesn't, this also doesn't like cling to your dry patches, which is an amazing thing because I have a problem with that. And I'm using an Eco Tools foundation brush and I'm just gonna pack it on and just blend it out. And one more thing, I don't like to use like, I only like to use foundation like on the outer part of my face and like on my T zone, I'll use concealer. Like, I'll use more concealer than foundation, like, underneath my eye as well. And here, I just wanted you to see that even though it's, like, a light layer, it still gives you, like, a nice, good coverage. And it still gives you... Oh, friends are visiting. Yes, I know. And it still gives you, like, a luminosity and, like, a nice skin-like look. And then I am going to be priming underneath my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Pure Beige and I'm also going to be using the Master Concealer and Medium. After I've concealed my entire face, I am going to use this brush from LAB. It's a foundation brush. And I like to spread the concealer out and clean up my eyeshadow. And I like to like blend it out a little bit because I like to wait like a couple minutes. That way uh, it dries and it blends out better and it covers my black circles better. And while I wait, I'm going to be using the Alley Girl Black Brow Pencil. And this is an amazing brow pencil. I'm just going to go ahead and do the, my brows real quick. And yeah, you guys should 
to really try this pencil. So after my brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and blend out the rest of my concealer. And yeah, you see, everything looks like more coverage, like full coverage, you know? I don't know. You don't have to do this step. You can just blend it out and use whatever you're using. And to set that, what I'm going to do is use my beauty blender, my, you know, ratchet as beauty blender. And I am using... What? I am using the Locket Powder from Kat Von D. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I don't have any creases underneath my eye. And lightly um, set, my, set my concealer. I like to be really gentle because they say that you get wrinkles. So uh, I don't want no wrinkles over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just bake my entire face. So now that we look like a ghost, huh? I am going to be setting my eyebrows with some translucent powder. I actually, um, like, I don't know why for the longest time my brows, whenever I would do them, they would like slip or they wouldn't last so long and it's because I wouldn't set them. So I'm just using some translucent powder and just setting them. You don't have to do this. You can just set it with like your brow gel or whatever you have. And then I'm going to go ahead and after I set my brows, I'm going to set my face with the Rimmel, uh, I think it's the matte powder. And I'm using a Real Techniques like fluffy brush. And I'm going to pack that onto the parts that aren't baked. And then I'm going to blend it out. So after I set my face, I'm going to contour my face with this LA Girl powder. And I'm using a Smashbox, like a small little contour brush. And I do this face, that face right there. And it follows like the natural um, shadows of your face. So that's what you do. Like if you don't know how to find it, just make that face and... You should get like a natural shadow and that's where you're supposed to contour and I'm just gonna lightly I'm not gonna take it too far like to my lip just gonna lightly uh, blend it out and I'm also gonna be using another LA girl powder and that one is I'll put the name on the screen and that one's more like a bronzy bronzy powder just to give myself some like a golden goddess type of look, you know, just some color. And then where that same uh, contour I put, I'm just going to put it a little bit like above it and just blend it out. And I'm also going to blend it into my forehead and on my like temples. Oh girl, what's happening? My camera was like falling. I don't know why my camera keeps falling. I'm using this new Rimmel bronzer and it's in medium and I'm going to use like a fluffy brush to, just to like brush some color onto my cheeks and I don't like to use a lot of blush just like a little bit and I like to use more like bronzer that's what I like to use just because it, I feel like it complements my skin a little bit more and then for blush I'm going to use this LA Girl blush and I'll put the name on the screen and I'm using a uh, equal tools like blush brush and I'm just gonna smile and where the my like little cheek balls uh, where I'm placing the, the blush that's where I'm gonna be blending it out <laughs> and then I'm gonna just go ahead and blend out the baggage oh coffee break girl oh them cheekbones Ooh, other side coffee break hello i'm just kidding so i just wanted to show you my face like what it looked like you know a nice little close-up with everything that i put on my face <laughs> so this is what my face looks like and then i'm gonna highlight my face 
with the master chrome highlight, something like that. And I'm just not going to highlight too much um, or make it so intense just because, you know, just a natural glowy look. That's what we're going for. But if you want to, you know, make it super intense, you can, girl. It's just a little bit just because it's fall, you know. I don't know. And then I'm going to set my face with the Mario Badescu spray. And I am going to be giving out, like, ooh, girl, fan it out. That's right. When in doubt, fan it out. I'm just kidding. I am going to give away the Master Chrome highlights. So I'll, like, put the information down below for you guys. And I'm doing underneath my lower lash line. And I mixed. I didn't see that it wasn't, like, it wasn't recording. So I mixed popsicle and pukey together and I used a smudge brush and I went ahead and I placed it underneath right there and then I used hunts it's like a deeper orange and I just used it on that part of my eye and I was like experimenting and I put the green one on my eye but I didn't like it so I put the orange one instead and then I'm just gonna line my inner rim with this Alley Girl gel liner. And just to make my eyes like a little appear a little bit bigger. I'm not going to line the middle part of my eye. I'm just going to leave that blank. Whew, my eyes were like super watery. And for my inner tear duct. I'm going to mix all those three together. And I'm going to place that in the inner tear duct. I just realized how big my eyes looked. So I am going to be doing like a winged liner. And I'm going to use the LA Colors liner. And this was $1, guys. And I love this liner. It has, like, the perfect brush. I'm not really that good, like, a winged eyeliner. And it was, like, so easy doing it. And I am going to be doing... Oh, I'm going to be setting my brows with the e.l.f. mascara. And I'm also going to be putting on some eyelashes like lashes from elf i got these at the dollar store as well so they were a dollar and i wanted to try them they were really pretty they're like short like in the inner part of my eye and then really wispy and long at the end and i was just measuring my eye just to see if like i needed to cut anything and i just cut maybe like like two parts off like two lashes off and i fell in love with these lashes they were like perfect they were flexible they were they weren't too thick and too heavy on the eyes and all i needed to do was put mascara on and curl my eyelashes so yeah guys this is how it looks this is what it came out like my lashes i think i fell in love with them they were a dollar and they look so natural i mean they, they're long but they're not heavy they don't like you can still see my eyeshadow yeah, guys, I am going to be lining my lips with the CoverGirl Smoky Intense Liner. And I am going to put Butter Gloss on my lips just to give me some moisture and sheen to my lips. And yeah, guys. And I'm also putting the NYX um, Liquid Suede in the middle of my lips just to give me some color. It's like a nude color. So this is what it looks like, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please subscribe and comment down below if you guys want to see, like, certain looks or if you have any questions about, like, skincare or if you want me to make any other types of videos, like, challenges. Let me know, guys. Let a girl know. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.